the quadrantids are usually one of the most reliable meteor showers of the year. They're known for brief but intense activity, with sharp, fast streaks that can light up the sky when conditions cooperate. But in 2026, the sky won't cooperate. The shower peaks on the night of January 2nd into the early hours of January 3rd, right under a full moon. That moonlight will brighten the sky enough to erase most faint meteors before they ever become visible. So the real question this year isn't how strong the quadrantids are on paper, it's whether they're worth watching at all. Even with a full moon, the quadrantids aren't completely lost. The brightest meteors can still punch through the glare, but those will be the exception, not the rule. Your best window is just before dawn on January 3rd when the radiant is highest. Look toward the northern sky near the handle of the Big Dipper. You won't see a storm, but you might catch a few fast, clean streaks if you're patient. And sometimes one good fireball is enough to make the wait worthwhile. While January's meteor shower is fighting moonlight, 3i Atlas is still changing in measurable ways. This image was captured overnight by Tony Scermato in southern Italy using a 25-centimeter Newtonian telescope. Compared to earlier observations, the inner coma appears noticeably brighter. At the same time, the outer green coma has weakened. That shift suggests a change in how material is being released close to the nucleus, not just a viewing angle effect. What hasn't changed is the long anti-tail. It's still present, still expended, and still aligned near a position angle of about 115 degrees. That persistence matters. Across multiple nights and observers, this structure keeps reappearing, even as brightness and color evolve. So while some January sky events fade under moonlight, this object continues to give us data worth watching. And that contrast is the story right now. Some sky events disappoint quietly, while others keep unfolding frame by frame. So that's where January leaves us. The quadrantids look weaker than usual under a full moon, while 3 Eye Atlas keeps changing in ways we can actually measure. Different sky events, very different outcomes. What do you make of this latest 3 Eye Atlas image? Does the brighter inner coma and the persistent anti-tail change how you're reading this object right now? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you want to keep following these quiet changes as new data comes in, like the video and subscribe. I'll see you in the next update.